and sisters you know we have difficulties amongst ourselves sometimes you have a problem you have an issue someone did something bad to you maybe your husband maybe your wife your children maybe someone you worked with maybe someone on the street I promise you as a Muslim you need to consider forgiving them why because Allah says sometimes when you forgive and when you embrace and when you bear patience it is more beneficial for you. It is better for you. Those who bear patience and forgive, indeed, that is the best of affairs. The best thing you could do. It's difficult. It's not easy. Someone might say they're doing bad to me so much. They are doing bad to me so much. How can I keep? Forgiving them, you have a point. But consider this, if you forgive, there is a greater chance that Allah will forgive you. And if you are patient, there is a greater chance Allah will be patient with you. Amazing. And sometimes if you don't forgive, the price you shall pay might just be far greater than if you were patient for a while. I give you one example. There was a sister who contacted me some time back. She has three children. Her husband unfortunately had an affair with someone. And she told me that I need your help, but please don't tell me to be patient. Okay, you need my help, but please don't tell me to be patient. So I told her, my sister, what did he do? He did this, he did that. Wallahi, no justification. That was bad, it was unacceptable, it was terrible, it was really wrong, it was major. Has his life changed? Has he admitted? Yes, he's admitted. Has he said, I'm sorry? Yes, he has. Has his life changed in any way? Yes, it has. But I can't forgive him. Okay, no problem. If his life has changed, if he's become very transparent now in his relationships, if you are satisfied that he has made an effort and if you are seeing within him that he's becoming a better person, then I would suggest you consider the following, that if you want a divorce just because of a mistake that was made, perhaps you might become a statistic. But if you are after seeing all this positive change, remember I'm saying this because I don't encourage people to just bear patience and bear patience and bear patience and the guy keeps on harming and harming and harming and harming. No, no, no. There is a limit beyond which nobody can tolerate it. My brothers and sisters. Sometimes the difficulty is with the sisters. But a lot of the times it's with the brothers anyway. So, what would happen is, I told her, perhaps if a divorce happens, you may be a statistic whereby he will get married again, he's a happy man, and he's excited, and perhaps someone much younger, and you know there is no shortage, etc., etc. And I said, what will happen to you? You will have gone away. Now you're going to struggle because you're going to fight for maintenance. You're going to fight for something else. Your, people will look at you, there is a stigma attached. Unfortunately, you know, I was asked recently about divorced women. And what is the encouragement Islam has given about marrying those who are divorced? And I said, look, you don't need to look at my life or the lives of the companions for this. You can go straight to the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All his wives were previously married besides one. Did you know that? Subhanallah. All his wives were previously married besides one. Aisha radiallahu anha. The rest of them were previously married. So there is a very high status. There is nothing wrong if a person's been through a divorce. They are still as pure. The most pure of all chose that type or those types of women. Subhanallah, widows and divorcees. So my brothers, let's not have a misunderstanding to say someone who's divorced is actually someone who is cheap or they are low or they have lost their value. No way. Sometimes they will add value that you would never have imagined. Go back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Take a look at how he used to miss Khadija bint Khawailid radiallahu anha beyond her death. 
such that there is a hadith that makes mention of the fact that he used to keep a good relationship by giving some gifts to some of her friends later on amazing who are these people these are the friends of Khadija and he used to send to them something sometimes he used to remember them sometimes so going back to what I was saying I told the sister look my sister if you bear patience and you try to increase your link with Allah sabr and salah you need to make sure that you develop your link with Allah that will occupy you it will keep you in the right track and bear patience look at the man remember Allah thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will find within no time things will improve you know what a few years down the line I can't recall how many but I got a message from this brother saying my brother I want to tell you that the advice you gave my wife was so brilliant we went through the most difficult time but today our relationship is far stronger than it ever was before the problem we had look at the gift of Allah Allah says it clearly whoever is prepared to bear patience and forgive that's the best thing you could do subhanallah it's the best thing you could do. Iqra kitab Allah tarq jinanahu wa tanal azim al-ajri wal-ghufrani Rattilhu rawi al-qalb min nafahatihi kalmai yurui lahfata al-ajani Oh.